Welcome to Biology Made Easy. Biology Made Easy are biology lessons designed for high school and secondary school biology students. Welcome. In our last lesson, we discussed microscopes, how to use them, how to care for them. Let's look at the slide. This is just an empty slide, glass. It has its adaptations, which you should know, having talked about adaptations of the cover slip. So we are going to look at temporary and permanent slides, but this is just a microscope slide with nothing on it. We'll come to a temporary slide, microscope slide soon. Let's look at how to prepare specimens for optical microscopes. There are various steps. And simply, the steps include sectioning or cutting. You need to cut the specimen you are going to put on the slide. Then there's a portion, a part that is called physician. Physician is just putting the specimen in chemical, usually 70% alcohol. Then you stain the specimen and then you mount the specimen. These are the four steps, which can be compressed into three. Very soon you see the steps. Now let's find out how we can get spe cut specimen for microscope. And you know, microscope specimens are very tiny, microscopic. And so the specimens will have to be very thin. And so there are techniques for getting very thin specimen. Let's say we have this. We need to get a specimen from this petiole, very thick. All microscope specimen must be very thin, very, very thin. One cell thick. The specimen must be only one cell. Or, that's one cell, or one layer of cells thick. One layer of cells thick. This can be seen under optical microscopes. If the specimen is even two layers of cells, this one layer, this another layer, even if it's two layers of cells, the specimen cannot be seen. The specimen will be dark, blotched, distorted. You cannot see the specimen. So the specimen must be one, cell, one layer of cells thick. So this specimen we have in our hand is very thick. How do we get one layer of cells thick? This is polystyrene, all right? This is very easy mechanical ways of getting the specimen. You get a polystyrene and try to fit the specimen you want to cut into the polystyrene. So this is the specimen. You want a piece of it. We fit it into this polystyrene just to hold it, hold the specimen in this polystyrene so that you can cut the specimen using the polystyrene as a support. The cutting thing must be very, very sharp. So, I have this blade, very sharp. I have a test petri dish with water in it. I'm going to cut the tissues into water. So, you slice off many. You try and slice off many, 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 many. That is one of the simplest way to get specimen. Then when you've sliced off many, then you can select, you've sliced, when you slice off many, 
then you can pick the ones you, you need with a brush. So the brush easily picks it and you put it on your slide. That's one of the ways to get specimens. Thin specimen for microscope work. Somebody will say, if you need, you have to slice a, a thin specimen from this, what do you do? The same thing, fix it in the polystyrene, just cut to create room. We want a piece of this. We get a piece, fix it in. Then we are going to slice it off. Very thin pieces. So we start slicing it off and dropping them in here. So that is how to section. So then we can use our brush and look through and see and pick very thin pieces and then drop it on the slide, microscope slide. Now, there's an easy way if we want to get the epidermis of some plants, right? And you feel slicing will be difficult. Just hold the plant like this and try to strip off. You strip, you strip, you strip. You see, I have this part, a part that is so tiny, this part will give me one layer of cells. This very thing, just stripping the parts, all right? Great. Now, this is the process of cutting, sectioning, cutting specimen for optical microscope. It's a plant tissue. Sometimes tissues are macerated, actually crushed, torn apart. Now, sometimes the specimen will need to be fixed first. There's a process called fissation. Fissation is simply putting the specimen in a fissative. Fissative is material that will make sure that the tissue is not distorted. It tries to keep the tissue in its original form. So you are fixing the cells and the tissues in their original state before you cut. All right? And sometimes after cutting, if the specimen is thick, you do physician after cutting. Then we go to staining. Staining is putting dyes into the specimen so that various structures in the cells can be seen. Because cells are usually transparent. So uh, there are various dyes that tries to let various parts of specimen stand out. And dyes such as eosin, eosin will let cytoplasm be seen, it will dye it pink, it will dye cellulose red, iodine solution dyes starch black, blue black, aniline blue dyes hyphae or fungi blue, and it also dyes the spores of fungi blue. Fulgin stains dyes DNA and chromosomes red or purple and Leshman stain red blood cells pink and white blood cells blue. So you see stains will go to reveal the different parts of the structures or specimen because most cells and things are transparent. Then we have the last 
thing you need to do when we are preparing microscope slides is mounting. Mounting is fixing or supporting the specimen on a microscope slide. So we pick our specimen with our, the brush, put it on the microscope slide, and then we can put on stain right into the middle, middle of the slide. And we are going to drop on this the cover slip to cover it. So we are going to mount the specimen. We put the specimen on the microscope slide and we have a cover slip. And we are dropping the cover slip onto the specimen. And you can use a pin to hold it. Hold the cover slip with the pin and drop the cover slip gently with the pin. When you do that, the specimen does not trap. It does not trap gases. We'll look at mounting again very soon. Okay? So these are the processes of preparing temporary slides. You have sessioning, physician, staining, mounting. We'll look at this process again. Now, let's look at what happens when we are looking at permanent slides. Permanent slides, the processes are plenty. You have sectioning, then fissation, then dehydration is removing water from the specimen by using various um, chemicals, like increasing the concentration, putting the specimen in different concentrations of ethanol. Then you have another section clearing this one, employing chemicals like xytol to make the specimen very transparent. Then you have embedding, supporting agent that thickens, make sure that very thin sections can be cut. It's also. Then you have sectioning and you have staining. Then the stain should be used. The stains that should be used are permanent stains. They are not just any ordinary stain. And then the mounting liquid is not water or just a stain, but resin is used to mount the specimen so that the specimen lasts. We will look at temporary slides again, comparing temporary slides with permanent slides. Yes, we want to look at temporary slides using an onion. All right, look at, do look at the onion epidermis. And we want to do water mount temporary slides. It means we are going to mount the specimen in water. Permanent slides will mount in a resin, Canada balsam. Temporary slides can just mount in stain. And now we are going to mount in water, meaning we are going to fix the specimen on the microscope slide with water. So to get our specimen, we can decide to cut the specimen, fixing it in the polystyrene as we discussed, or fix it here and try to get neat cool specimens. Let's see what we can get. Or simply and fast, just hold the onion and try to strip off. You strip and you can get tiny bits at the edges that you can tear off and use. Very simple, tiny bit. So you tear it, tear it off, a drop of water on the slide and your specimen in very quick. Our cover slip, we are going to mount it in our cover slip. Put, mount it, put our cover slip on it. So the cover slip is held like this. And lowered gently on the specimen. 
any extra water. The wat there's not much water on it. We put what add water to it. Too much water on it. We use t um, filter paper to draw off the extra bit of water. That is our temporary slide is ready for us to observe the specimen under our microscope. Simply put, that is our temporary slide. Now, we don't have any more time to look at the rest of our topics, the resolution, the differences between resolution and magnification of microscopes, and also differences between optical microscope and electron microscope. We didn't have time to look at that. So we'll push that into our next lesson and continue that in our next lesson. So let's have some homework. List the tools that you need to do a temporary microscope slide. List the tools and explain the use of the tools. Then two, in a tabular form, state the differences, advantages, and disadvantages between temporary slides, wet mount slides, and permanent slides. This is a permanent slide. The specimen is mounted in a resin. All right? Okay. This is a wet mount slide. It was mounted in water. All right? Good. And then you have other temporary slides that the specimen can be mounted in a stain, not in water. So state in a tabular form the differences, advantages, and disadvantages between these three types of microscope slides. Thank you very much. That is what we have for today. What do we expect in our next lesson? We wanted to talk about the differences between magnification and resolution of microscopes, and also the differences between optical microscopes and electron microscope. We didn't finish, so we'll look at that in our next lesson. Thank you for the day. Goodbye.